More? This one. He's a demon! Get ready! See this? Deception! You're not human. <laughs> True enough. Hold stop! Burning wing! He's strong. Chips in the blades already. Huh. Brittle these exorcist knives. I've got to reclaim Storm Howl. Storm Howl? That sword we found? You found it? Where? Do you have it? Please tell me. It's in a storage room. Down below. Down below? You have my thanks. He's an odd demon. If things settle down, we'll miss our window. Hurry! Storm Hell. Could that demon be... What is it? Nothing. That demon swordsman was just strange. He was so full of fury, but when you started talking about that sword, his manner changed completely. Don't think too much about it. He's a demon after all. The prisoners here are all so unusual. <sighs> oh, except for you. Forget it. Like I care what a Moloch thinks of me. We're finished here. Let's hurry on. Getting out of here comes first. They've got the gate to the docks locked down. We can't break through. The tower should be just ahead. We've just about quelled this riot! You won't be getting away! Prisoners are doomed. Time is short. We need to get down to the path. The path has collapsed. That rope won't do any good here. Wait, 
You're not seriously going to try it, are you? He fell further than this back at the shrine. I see you are truly committed to this. <laughs> You're strong. I would almost think you made an oath. It's a ritual that grants special power, if the oath taker abides by certain restrictions. The harsher the restrictions, the greater the power one may command. In a very real sense, an oath is a sort of curse, right? Well, guess what? You're the ones who did this to me. I am aware. That is why I chose you. Are you sure? This way leads to the main entrance. If they know you're here, they'll have found your ship by now. The guards expect us at the rear, not the front. We're almost there. That's enough. Oscar, I had no idea an exorcist Praetor had been assigned to this island. You surprise me, Ceres. Aiding criminals now, are you? Did Lord Artorius request this? No. I'm acting on my own. A mullet with free will? And yet, I sense someone's strings guiding you. Hold on. A Praetor is far more dangerous than an orderly. I'm all out of subterfuge. And besides, if we can't overpower this one, our end goal was hopeless to begin with. You're a demon, but still a lady, so I'll show you due respect. I am Oscar Dragonia, Praetor of the Abbey of the Holy Midgand Empire. Who might you be? Huh. All right, graceless demon it is then. Lord Artorius himself taught me the ways of purification. How will you fare against them? You will not fall that easily. I defend! That old shot! Light! I defend! You're skilled. I will have to expend a Moloch or two for this. More of your vaunted reason! My 
wounds are fatal. Please, consume me. I'm not about to. My form is bound by an oath whose price is my life. The time has come to pay. Feeding on my form will grant you strength, the strength to press forward. I ask only that you devour me. Why? A flame burns in my heart, too. A flame I cannot quench no matter how hard I try. Just like you, Velvet. <gasps> this was Luffy's! That is why I cannot abide it. This frozen world. This frozen people. <gasps> I'm just... that stubborn of a woman. <sighs> Hurry. Before my life fades. Do it now. I offer no apology or thanks. I need neither. Our wishes... ...are one and the same. <laughs> I treasured those days. <laughs> when you and I... <laughs> and Arthur were... <laughs> together. If you don't... I'll eat you! to wield as her own? I've never seen such a demon! Yeah! <laughs> 
Apologies, but I can't let a nasty demon like you roam freely now, can I? <sighs> Velvet! That's my name. You can give Artorius my regards. My name is Velvet Crow, and I will devour demon, Moloch, and exorcist alike! I am a monster! I am a Therian! would have been less risky if you hadn't suddenly appeared and jumped on my back. Oh, hey, it's you. It's thanks to you that Storm Howl is back in my care. Rokuro Ron gets it. At your service. This blade is my life. I owe you a great debt. One I vow to repay. Yes, yes, she's a peach and a model citizen. Can we get our move on? I think they're just about done massacring the rioters. The docks are just ahead. Give me a hand. The weather's feeling as crummy as I am! Careful. Sea's looking mighty choppy. Are you a sailor? No. But I do know the difference between a sail and a rudder. I'll take what I can get. Do what you can. You're leaving without a proper crew? Very well, then. I certainly owe you this much, at least. Brave words! <laughs> but ten minutes in this storm, and you'll lose all sense of direction. No, we won't. Ships have compasses for a reason. So it's rot in a jail cell, or rot in a fish tummy? Well, guess it's your lucky day, fishies! I'm coming for you, Artorius. Luffy said... A Moloch? Ah! Stay back! You really are a box of horrors, aren't ya?
sorry. If I had a weapon, I would have helped, I promise. You're wearing one. Oh, nah, I can't use this. Sorry, long story. And the child? The little brat? Scampered off somewhere. You ought to be scampering off yourselves. My debt is not yet repaid. Until it is, I will not leave your side. I can hardly scamper off without knowing from whence I'm scampering. We're lost, stranded, shipwreck survivors, no? <sighs> well, then I expect this might come in handy. A map? Was that left by the child? Looks to me like we're in Northgand. Northgand? Then if we're to reach the capital in Midgand, we've no choice but to patch up our ship. What are your plans once you reach Logris? Something worth breaking out of prison for. <gasps> Can't we stand around and chat somewhere nicer? Somewhere with soup to warm the body, tails to warm the heart? There's a city called Helavis nearby. I can't promise they're much for conversation, but we'll find food in a ship right there. know that kid? I thought I heard you call him by name. No, I don't know any Malakim. Not anymore. Anymore? Hmm. What? Well, whoever he was, there was something different about him, that's for sure. You can say that again. Using healing arts on a demon without being ordered to? And he stole that compass, too. For being an exorcist Moloch, he's a greedy little imp. Well, we did help ourselves to a certain map of his, so... Uh, I consider myself an island of virtue in this sea of wickedness. I suppose. Come on, it's not funny if you agree with me. You think? So this is how escaped prisoners behave. Magilu, your way of speaking is as strange as your appearance. I'm a witch. I must project a proper age and dignity. I have an image to maintain. Self-improvement in all things, I suppose. So what's the difference between a spellcaster and a witch? There are many, but mainly it's a matter of nuance. It's like the difference between being frugal and being miserly. Ah, so a spellcaster is useful and a witch isn't, is that it? So I guess that makes you a witch right now. You wound me! You're one to talk, Mr. Self-Improvement! Your words cut deeper than these northern winds. 